Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 25th, 2023. Hi, my name is Caleb. Welcome to Shredding Lavel. Shredding Lavel Tarot. <laughs> if you are new here, Aries, welcome. I'm glad that you are here. If you are returning, what up, though? I'm glad that you're back, okay? Aries, we are going to jump right into your reading here. Unfortunately, I am going to have to make this kind of quick because with this, like, new job that I have started, my energy is just boom, depleted. I'm not used to this yet, so I am going to do just a tarot portion of the read today, okay? I'm going to leave out the message from the Ancestors Oracle card and the Big Bubba Mac portion until probably tomorrow whenever I have a little bit more energy. All right, let's get right into here, guys. One, two, three, four. Spirit God, Angels, Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Let me get an accurate reading for Aries today, please. Let me get an accurate reading for the Aries today watching this channel. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries, please. One, two. Boom. Let me get one, four, and that'll be it. One, two, three. Okay, that one definitely wanted to pop out. Um, it shows me that you're healing here from something, okay? Uh, from some kind of situation where you felt pretty backstabbed, you were really hurt from, okay? So you guys are healing from something here. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. There we go. past here we have the magician in the present we have the star and in the future we have the knight of cups okay so i'm going to read the magician first okay it shows me that you're probably um running into some kind of obstacles here after starting your spiritual path okay it doesn't always have to be that though it is a good card a lot in common with the ace of wands it is the act of and power to manifest something from nothing, which is an esoteric misnomer we use for the sake of convenience and teaching. This is the card of purposeful creation and destruction, not some random act of the gods or circumstance. This card represents the act of commitment. Pair this up with a minor arcana card to see what is being decided and acted upon. This card also shows the autonomy of self-government and the reliability of assumed responsibility. There is no hesitation in this card. It is not a card of action per se, but the force behind action or the command presence to instill action to follow along a prescribed path. When you see this card, see decisions, initiations, the commencement of activities, a revelation of the power of whatever this card points at, the will and the confidence to act decisively, and the ability to utilize resources at hand. This is a supreme alpha card. It represents initiative combined with action, and it is not for the timid or the weak. As a person, these are the qualities of this of this person male or female this card is genderless as advice do these things take action make decisions be confident use what you have now and stop whining or procrastinating this card offers no excuses and allows for none in turn this is not the outward authority of status or position emperor hierophant this is inherent in everyone and must be tapped into to actuate this is the channeling of the energies accessible to anyone towards a set goal or problem okay clarify all right we have the knight of wands we have the emperor and we have the seven of cups okay so um what is showing me here is that you are showing up in a very strong position okay uh, but it seems like you or someone in your energy here is like um not really on the same level that you're on here is what i'm getting here it's like you're here and this person's here okay so you're having some kind of combative um, uh, stance here where, that you're trying to take here. You're trying to stay in the same position that you are in because you're showing up as the emperor here, Aries. And you're looking at a situation here. You have all these options in front of you and you're trying to ask yourself here in the past, like, is the juice worth the squeeze here? You're like, which action do I take? Do I keep doing the same route? Do I change this over here? Do I keep doing that the same way? Or do I change it up a little bit? Or do I keep moving in the same direction? Okay. Uh, let's, I want to look up the knight of um, wands here. I know what the king, the emperor is, okay, but the knight of wands here, I would like to check out. No, no time for explanations. We have to move now. Okay, maybe a quick explanation, but then we have to take action. 
This is a card of rallying, swift, sudden movement, decisive action, high adventure, sudden movement, especially road trips, impromptu vacations, hyperactivity, active danger-seeking young men, the hunt. Occasionally, this card pairs with the Six of Swords, the Chariot, to indicate travel or relocation. This card can also be used to signify a young man with red hair or an aggressive, impulsive personality, should you wish to do so. Should you wish to do so. I, like, literally just woke up from a nap, and uh, I slept for about a solid two hours, okay? So I am, boom, tired. <laughs> I was like, ooh, maybe I, sh I was like, maybe I should just wait till tomorrow, but I'm already behind. Um, I, I still have to do the Leo and Gemini read. And then today, there were two other reads that I have to do, and I was like, oh my god. I don't know how many I'm going to get to today, because it's already um, like 11.30 at night right now. But um, for all the ones that I do not get caught up with, other than my Aries reads, because my Aries are my day one A1s, I'm going to do my Aries read every single day, whether I have the energy to do it or not. That's why I have my quick reference guide, okay? So that way, if my channeling's feeling a little fuzzy... Um, then that way I can still read the cards because like as I said my energy pulls these cards okay so if my energy pulls these cards they are meant for you um, but having the quick reference guide is good for the days that I'm running low on energy or my channeling is a little fuzzy so it's like I can't remember exactly what the card means so um, I don't even know if I mentioned that at the beginning of this reading uh, this is a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever okay if you guys would like to follow along but um Emperor, yeah. Government, any male authority figure, boss, judge, executive, decision maker, father, cardinal, priest. This is the card of judgment or command, lawsuit, parking ticket being issued, summons, meeting with a superior, etc. And also of the person or authority behind that command or judgment, e.g. the IRS. And still other words, it is the act of being told what to do and the person who tells you to do it. As harsh as this may seem at first, it is this very structural dominance that makes this the card re representational of the person or authority you would go to when you seek grievances against oppression or abuse okay as a quality in a person this card speaks of leadership ability resoluteness of mind capable use of logic and command decision ability this is not a person easily slayed by random emotions nor soft stories a good manager a reliable person of great character as an action this could be the issuing of a decree or sagely advice. The emperor implies the experience of age. And if this card is well expected, then wisdom accompanies that experience. Okay. Let me go ahead and look up the seven of the cups since I looked up the, uh, the rest of this here. <laughs> Might as well, right? Four, five, six, seven. Okay. You have opportunities and possibilities before you. The world is at your feet, whether you know it or not. And you may even be overwhelmed by the choices you face now. But a choice is called for, and the clock is ticking. This is a very fortunate card as you have options, but the pressure you, on you to choose and act may be overwhelming. Take a deep breath, do some quick research, decide what you want most from life right now, and strike while the iron is still hot. If you wait too long, the moment will pass and the opportunity may be gone. Choose, but choose wisely. So yeah, you're being called to make a decision here on something in your life. Um, could be um, a way of thinking, a mindset. Um, what you do, um, how you do things, something like this, okay? So, you got a little bit of time, but you, um, the, the clock is ticking, so that is very significant here, Aries. So, keep that in the back of your mind, okay? Let's go ahead and look up the star here for the present, okay? Star is a good card. Boom, 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 boom. All right, star. It says hope, faith, magic, more to the point. When this card comes up, it shows a need to or the action of reaching out to the gods for assistance. It is divine assistance coming to play. If you are already praying, this is a positive response. If you haven't started praying, this card asks what you are waiting for. It is situations getting better through divine intervention so you know who to think. Okay. So you're going to have some people to here to think in the future, okay? Because some kind of divine intervention is going to be coming in for you here. And, like, if you haven't, like, if you don't pray or whatever, or if you don't think of uh, a higher being or th believe in a higher being, so to speak, or something like this, what I would do here, Aries, is, like, just speak it out into existence. You don't necessarily have to pray to God, okay? Um, I personally, I do. But, you know, everybody's different and what people believe in is different. So what I would do uh, primarily, if that's something that you would like to do, is just speak it out into existence. Like, say that you want like a, a certain amount of money. Be like, hey, I would like to make this amount of money. Okay, <laughs> I 
I would like to make $30 trillion, okay? <laughs> so just like speak it out into existence, right? Um, no, don't like speak it out into existence and then like the next day or immediately turn around and be like, where's my money? Where's it at? You know, don't come up from a place of lack, right? Just come from a place of humble and know that what, what is happening is like coming into, it's like a, there's a will being turned, right? Okay, think of the will of fortune. The will is being turned, okay, and it's going to take some time. It's not something that can just happen overnight, right? Especially if it's something big that you're asking for here. But just keep in mind that whenever you do ask, you will receive. But always be specific, always be specific with what you ask for. Because um, if you're not specific with what you ask for, then whenever you get what you want, it may not be what you thought of it. I thought of what it was it may not be what you thought it was going to be whenever you asked for it okay Jeez. okay i cannot talk right now jesus okay we have the six of cups we have the high priestess and we have the hermit okay i want to look up the six of cups first this is a very good card um specifically it says that there is no battles fought this day um, and that it says also that you could be giving someone a gift or someone's coming in with a gift for you here, Aries. Um, I'll read it for you. Much has been written about this card by various writers and most of it is contradictory. The meaning of this card is simple act of giving. This is one of the very few tarot cards that illustrate children at all. Here they are a visual stylus used to illustrate or emphasize the natural innocence of the act of giving without expectation, machination, or hidden, in inter hidden interference. This is a card of simple kindness that is all too rare in this world. No fierce battles are fought this day. No glories are won or honors bestowed. Expect a gift from a friend, or perhaps you will be the giver of gifts. This card can also mean a reunion with old friends, okay? We also have the High Priestess. I just got this card the other day whenever I did the Aries reading. It might have been yesterday, but um, I would like to look it up what, what it means here. Oh, it's like got an extremely long passage for the opening. I don't remember that much. I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. High Priestess. We're almost there. And then we have the Hermit right beside it. Wow, we have two major Arcanas here in the uh, present. There he is. Jeez, where is it at? All right. Intuition, imagination, dreams, creative spark, or inspiration. She brings new understandings of situations through listening, not acting. She is communion, prayer, knowing when to seek guidance and doing so. As the magician is active psychic power channeled outward, she is receptive information gained, as well as active psychic power of calling and assistance. As forceful and direct as the magician is, his partner is just as oblique. She uncovers or reveals where he takes where he takes action. Her abilities lie in everyone. They exist at all times in our subconscious minds and are our direct connection to whatever we individually call God. This card shows or advises reflection, quiet listening, intuitive work, seeking out expert knowledge and assistance both on higher plane and physically. Pair this up with a minor arcana card to see what she is alluding to, okay? We also have the Hermit. Maybe that is the long passage one. I know one of them is. So that one I just got recently too, like the other day or yesterday, possibly. All right, the hermit. As a person, a college professor, any teacher, therapist, consultant, researcher, or priest, male or female, and not necessarily old nor creepy, one who seeks truth or provides advice. There aren't a lot of prophets running around these days, so it could easily be any elder who has wise counsel, a reliable and wise religious leader, or even a Sherpa, should you be in the Himalayas at the time of the reading. Otherwise, it is usually an institution, vocational school, junior college, university, or any of the teachers said to inhabit such locales. This card is usually too big to simply imply a person who gives you advice, so open it up to look for respecting cards to determine the full and extent of the meaning behind this card, okay? As an action or event, it can indicate deep, intense study or enrolling in any of the schools above. Conversely, it has a secondary meaning that is that of withdrawing from society. If you suspect this at all, you should definitely open it up as this withdrawal could be the reaction of depression, drug use, a loss of friends, or running away from any other unpleasantness. The act of withdrawing is not in and of itself bad. Try to determine the motivation for this act and see if the response is equitable or called for. Okay? So, you could be dealing with someone like this in your energy here, or this could be you um, as yourself here, Aries, okay? 
just keep in mind that whatever path that you're on, um, if things are shifting, okay, um, just keep it like, what, what is the best way to say this? Okay, give me a second here, guys. If you are on a path that yourself that you have already created, don't be distracted by other people or other things, okay? Don't like, don't let little little things come into your energy in order to distract you, okay? Keep your mind focused. That's one thing I just want to uh, say. The depression part of this card, like, could very well happen. So, like, don't let depression creep in and try to bring you down, okay? Because depression happens for everybody. We all deal with this at some point or some time. However, what we do about it is what really matters, okay, Aries? So keep your head up. Keep moving forward. In the future, we have the Knight of Cups. It says, this card represents a young man with the ability to focus or obsess completely on a task at hand. In this card, he is focusing on keeping his drive and emotions under control and contained. This card often refers to men who are either emotionally unavailable or simply cautious as compared to the reckless Knight of Swords or the high-spirited Knight of Wands. This card also indicates an average or better intellect and strong musical or artistic talents. This card can represent entering into any relationship slowly and with caution. So, if you are um, working on a relationship or moving in on a relationship or coming together with someone, it could possibly be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The reason I say that is because water represents cups. I mean, <laughs> cups represent water. Okay, I cannot talk. Like, having that nap before this reading was a horrible idea. Okay, I will now remember that for future readings. But you have two cups cards here. Okay, and you have wands. <laughs> so every other card on the table is a major arcana card. <laughs> Except for the, yeah, you have the, the emperor, you have the high priestess, you have the hermit right and you have the star card and the magician card so it seems like a lot of changes are happening right now for you aries and it seems like they're changing in a good way it's looking really good here however um and, and you do have this like relationship or like coming together if you were dealing with someone um you are probably either emotionally unavailable or were or this person is either emotionally unavailable or they were okay um, because this does represent the future. So it's like you guys, if you're coming together, maybe you both have like your own past situations that you have been through, um, with other people that seems like, or, or possibly even with each other, if you're coming back with a, a person. Okay. But it's like, you've been through traumatic experiences with other people before you came together. And then possibly because of these unresolved issues that you had dealt, dealt with, with other people, you guys are coming together and you have possibly have been through a couple of, um, traumatic experiences yourself however you guys are starting to acknowledge the fact that you have been through these experiences with past people and you haven't really healed from them yet whenever you were together and so even though you really wanted to have a great relationship with this person okay it is um what i'm getting is uh you guys are just coming together you're doing it slowly you're trying to do it like uh, probably a little bit more by the book here like a little bit right you're trying to just take things on a slow pace, low level, you're trying to understand each other a little bit better is what I'm getting here. Clarify this Knight of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Sun card. Wow, amazing card here, guys. And we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so a lot of happiness coming in. Um, it's showing me there's a lot of happiness coming in. Um, it's showing me that if even if, whether you do or do not have like great finances, it's like you're happy with the things that you have in your life. Okay, and you're also happy with being around each other if it is with this person because like this is clarifying this card. Um, so it's like you're happy with each other in general. You're happy with the amount of money that you have and also with the things that you have, whether it be like a, an, a, like a lot of money or a lot of things or not. Okay, you're just happy in general. And this Page of Swords, um, I want to clarify this one. I would like to look this up really quick because Page of Swords, um, this does represent air. So it could be an air sign in your energy. Okay, and it says a representative of a person. This card indicates a young boy or girl or a student, either of the qualities of the suit of swords, rash, loud, defensive, angry, potentially violent, or of the element of air, intelligent, studious, hyperactive, razor wit. If this card indicates a message, expect the wording to be sharp and pointed, like unpleasant news or something delivered with disdain. When this card indicates a situation or state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. 
It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spiritual exchange and less negatively aspected. So it seems like someone in the energy that you have here with this person may be upset about this. Okay. They're like, they're either upset about this or they're trying to come to you with some kind of information. All right. Like trying to give you some kind of information here. That's the only two things that I'm really getting from this. Um, or you here, if you do have air in your chart, Aries, you're like trying to take the moral high ground or, or so you would determine this as the moral high ground in your uh, specific situation here, okay, with this person. If you do have air in your chart or if this person has air in their chart, uh, they're trying to take the moral high ground. They're trying to do this and it seems to them as something that they don't normally would do, especially if they were like a self-sabotage kind of person in the past here or you were. It's like you're coming to a new, like, state of mind here where you're like, you know what, like, I'm tired of doing things the same way. Or this person is like, you know what, I'm tired of doing things the same way. I'm going to do this a little bit differently this time. And I'm going to see like how this turns out. Like I want to, I want to move forward in a different type of way. Now that's like two storylines that I'm getting. That is either going on if you or this person has air in their chart or there's an air sign that is like upset about this. Like really just seeing you come together with this person and they're upset because of something, whether it be the fact that it's not you or it's not them that you are coming together with or the other person is not coming together with. Something like this, okay? Um, actually, I am going to do the Big Bubba Mac portion and the Ancestor Oracle card. We're at 2131 on the clock, okay? So, like I said, we're only 20 minutes in. I would like to uh, get the Aries read portion of my reads done every single day um, to the T on point. Okay, um, I, and I don't care if it's like even after midnight of the day of whenever I do it, uh, just keep in mind Aries, my readings are timeless. So whenever the reading comes across your energy is whenever it is meant for you. Also keep in mind that it is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, okay? So take the parts that resonate for yourself and leave the parts that do not resonate for someone else. Also, if you haven't done it yet, Aries, hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments. Wow. My eyes are just puffy. Yeah. Like I said earlier in my reads this week, guys, I'm not quite used to working this much, uh, especially not right now, because I had almost like, I don't know, two-thirds of a month off before <laughs> before I went to, went back to work here, so... This is kind of a new feeling for me, or at least like uh, I'm starting to feel, I'm not quite used to it. That's the best way I can explain it, okay? My energy levels are just really low. However, I do thank God for the new job. I appreciate the new position. I appreciate being able to make money again. Um, I'm very thankful. I'm thankful for the things that I have, like my bed. I'm thankful for the power. I'm thankful for the water. I'm thankful for being able to live in this house. I'm thankful for having tarot. I'm thankful for the message from the Ancestors Oracle cards. I'm, thinking, I'm thankful for Big Bubba Mag. I'm thankful for my um, book by Dusty White here called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I'm thankful for my Bible over here. Um, I'm thankful for this bad boy that <laughs> puts this mist out. I didn't light my candles today, guys, so I apologize about that. Um, but I kind of just forgot about it. We're already close to the end of the reading now, so I'm going to leave the candles off for this time. But next time, be prepared because I will light the candles, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get three cards here. That, um, three cards here so I can see what's going on with Aries today from Big Bubba Mag. Big Bubba, give me three cards to clarify the situation for Aries today. One, two, three, four. Um, if you have a sister, something about your sister could be significant or you are someone's sister or something to this nature. Okay, one, two, three, four. Wow. We also have Flint. So something about fire is important or um, you're someone's upset or mad or fiery, feeling fiery. Okay, that's what I'm getting from this. We also have DJ. So you could be a DJ watching this, okay? Or your name is DJ or something about a DJ is significant. Um, we have boss. So you could be a boss. Um, someone's boss or you're, you have boss energy or it's a new cat, baby, I'm a boss. Carolina barbecue sauce with the slaw. I'm going to say the cellar in the ball. <laughs> okay. Um, we have Aquarius. So you could have Aquarius in your chart or you're dealing with one here, Aries. Okay. 
We also have Libra on the bottom of the deck here. So you could be a Libra or you have Libra in your chart or something about a Libra is significant here, okay? Let's go ahead and get a message from the Ancestor Oracle card. Ancestors, God, Angel, um, Spirit Guides, Archangel Michael, please let me get an accurate message for Aries today. Ancestors, please show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. That was beautiful, bro. <laughs> We have shadow or darkness so you guys might want to cleanse your energy okay just to be careful here um yeah something about a shadow or darkness you could have a shadow or someone trying to like hide in the shadows around you not not like show that they're watching you here or something like this okay one two three four we have singer and voice someone could be a singer or they use their voice here okay something like this one let me one two three four okay this is going to be the, the card right here um we have balance and tree okay you might be near a tree or you need to go to a tree and lean up against it and hug that that tree okay or something like that to get a little balance in your life all right but the card that we have today is grandfather and presence okay so there could be the, the presence of a grandfather energy here in your presence, um, Aries. That's what I'm getting. This is what the card means. It says, this card is not about your biological or adoptive grandfather, though you may remember him having some of these characteristics. If he is deceased and an ancestor of your biological lineage, he will likely continue to offer you his guidance and blessings from the afterlife. Yet there is also an ancestor we call grandfather, one who once walked the earth in physical form and has now achieved the status of an elder in the afterlife. Presence is the wisdom of this ancestor, a purity of being that does not dwell in the past or anticipate the future, but is focused and available in the ever-present now. He shows up in dreams or a waking state as an image, a sensation, a sensation or an inner voice. He passes this presence through stories, healing, practices, creative expressions, and as you develop your relationship with him, direct revelation. Whatever way he shows up, he's an exceptional he's an except he is an exceptional guide that can teach you how to deeply accept whatever life presents each and every moment, welcoming every breath, every joy, every heartache, every experience with the wisdom of knowing that is all part of being human. Okay? That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. It says, pay close attention to all the various ways you distract yourself from being immersed in your immediate experience. The mind is very effective at scripting stories that take you away from full presence to dwell on the past, imagine the future, or consistently find something else to pay attention to other than that which is before you. Practicing presence is fueled by your association with your higher self, particularly your connection to grandfather. When you become aware of being stuck in the pattern of distractibility for whatever reason, pause, take a few slow, deep breaths, call on grandfather, and reset your attention and awareness. Practicing presence helps you meet and respond to whatever life presents you, even the most challenging of circumstances that are all a part of being human, and leads to discovering the deepest acceptable, no, the deepest acceptance possible, that of welcoming whatever you are experiencing in the present moment. So. Um, spirit here and your ancestors are telling you to bring your mind to the forefront, okay? So stop thinking so much. Could, could very well be dealing with some overthinkers out here, Aries, if you're anything like me. <laughs> if you're anything like me, Aries, trust me, I do understand the feeling. I'll be overthinking everything, son. Twice. <laughs> All right, Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading. Um, I do hope this message resonated with someone out here. Um, if it did resonate with you, hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please, please leave a comment in the comment section. I do reply to all my comments at some point. Um, just let you know, guys, I am like a little on the burnout side right now. I apologize for getting to this reading so late in the day. But like I said, whenever this reading comes across you is whenever this message is meant for you. Okay, guys? Um, this is my first week back to work, so I'm presuming that after this week, uh, getting back on my feet, getting my energy back, especially thankfully having this weekend off and able to rest and rejuvenate. Um, next week, what I will be doing, since I'll be on a more uh, defined um, schedule, um, it'll be a little bit more accurate going in um, pretty much the 
same time, which is nice. Um, I will be able to get the readings done at a certain time every day, and I'm um, planning on doing these readings before work, okay? So that way I can get them done early in the morning. Um, whoever watches my channel, you will have uh, the option to be able to watch it pretty much all day or something like this or any point throughout the day whenever you do usually watch it. So this one will probably get watched maybe possibly tonight. Hopefully I'll get a new crowd looking at this because it's uh, uploaded at a different time. Um, if you do, please subscribe to the channel, okay? You won't regret it, <laughs> I promise you that. Um, but also, for the people that have stuck with me, my A1 Day 1s, thank you so much. I am truly grateful. Thank you so much for the new subscribers that I have got. Okay, thank you guys for uh, continuing to stick with me and continuing to uh, be patient with everything that I have going on in my life, especially as a recovering alcoholic and addict in different ways like that. Okay, um, if you would like to look at my TikTok channel, you can always do that. Um, you can follow along my sobriety journey. Okay, guys, love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. All right, I will see you guys again soon. All right, as always, guys, love yourself first.